Am I the a-hole for refusing to see other options for a girl and pressing charges for what she did to my son's car? My, 39 male, son, 17 male, Bryce, dated our neighbor Lana, 17 female, for a year. They broke up mid-January for reasons I don't know. I won't sugarcoat this. I never liked Lana. She always seemed a little unhinged, controlling and aggressive. She's always demanding Bryce's attention, and there are quite a few times when she showed up to our house out of nowhere, whether it was 7 a.m. or 11 p.m. because Bryce wasn't answering his phone, screaming, and calling him a cheater when it wasn't like that. The thought of our son getting abused by his girlfriend made us worry so much. My wife and I tried to talk him out of that relationship. We said that it wasn't normal, nor healthy. We didn't want to force the breakup because we feared Lana would lash out at him. So we tried to do it in a sneaky way. We don't know if it worked, but they did end up breaking up. He said that after he broke up with her, Lana didn't contact him, which was weird because he expected her to go nuts. But I told him that if fate didn't give him shit, then he better not tease it. Now the problem is, we bought our son a car for Christmas. Nothing fancy, but enough to get him to school and his job and eventually college. He parks it in our driveway outside of our home. Ever since the month began, we've been finding scratches all over the car. We know Lana was doing it, but since it was minimal, my son decided not to do anything, even if we could prove it was her. Still, something smelled bad for me, so I decided to switch one of the cameras facing his car directly, just in case. Well, two weeks ago we got up and we found my son's car covered in a lot of shit paint glue feathers confetti the door handles were wrecked flat tires paint all over the windows you get the picture bryce and my wife were so distraught we called the police and i handed them the cctv that showed lana and her brother 23 male destroying my son's car we pressed charges and needless to say lana's brother went straight to jail but since she's still a minor her parents want to make a deal but i refused i don't think she should get a way out before the police were here she was laughing her ass off and she tried to play it cool if she thought this was funny then she's old enough to face the consequences my wife and i stand our ground they said they'll buy my son a better car and put lana in therapy but i don't think it's enough wow honestly i would have done the exact same thing if i was in this guy's situation i would have made sure that lana is held accountable because for her to think that it's the funniest thing in the world to damage her ex's car just because of a stupid breakup that's not the behavior of a well-adjusted person and i can almost guarantee that if the shoe was on the other foot bryce would have been in jail faster than suge knight so definitely not the a-hole next story am i the asshole for telling my fiance that if i see her friend again i'm calling the cops me 29 male and erica 27 female have dated for the last two years and have been engaged the last four months after we got engaged erica moved into my house i still pay the mortgage while she pays for utilities groceries and household items after we get married the plan is to put her on the house so she gets the equity as well her friend leah 27 female and her have been best friends since high school i don't particularly like leah but i have been cordial because i know she's going to be in my life my issue is leah thinks of my home as hers couple of examples she always brings her boyfriend over and he's a sketchball she talks to me in a very disrespectful way in my own house like i'm just a guest and she and erica own it one day i went out to my garage and some of my tools were missing i checked my camera and leah and her boyfriend were in my garage with erica and took some of my tools with them i asked erica and she said they were just borrowing and would return them i had to reach out multiple times for them to finally return the tools weeks later i have a nice wine slash liquor collection and I was working late one Friday. While working, I heard some clanking of bottles together. Erica wasn't home, so I went to see what was up. Leah was behind my bar. I asked what she was doing and she said Erica told her it was okay to borrow a bottle of wine for her party and that she would pay it back. I told her no, it wasn't all right and to leave. I asked Erica about this and she said I don't remember telling Leah she could take a bottle, but I might have, I don't remember. I told her at this point I wasn't comfortable with Leah being in my house. Erica sort of understood, but also blew me off. The final straw came when I wanted to go hit some golf balls and my clubs went missing. I freaked out because I golf regularly. <laughs> I can't say that word chat, I'm sorry. And my clubs are my biggest investment. I went to check the camera again and Leah used my garage code and took the clubs. I blew up and I called Erica and I told her to get them back immediately. Erica said Leah had asked for the garage code to grab some clothes from her closet and not my clubs. I threatened to call the police, but Erica stopped me. Leah kept telling us that her boyfriend needed them for a work thing. I got them back almost four days after they were taken and they were dirty. At this point, I sat Erica down and I told her that if I see Leah 
Leah again in my house. I'm calling the cops. No discussion. Erica got upset, saying that it's her best friend, and it wouldn't be fair to do that to her in our house. I said it's a pattern, and since Erica's stuff isn't affected, she doesn't care. I said she can go over to Leah's if she wants to see her. She said she can't do this because Leah doesn't like her apartment, and Leah's boyfriend is always there, which makes Erica uncomfortable. I'm now getting the silent treatment and getting called an asshole, but I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Am I the asshole? Edit. Update. I want to thank you all for the kind words and comments. I knew after reading the comments that it was time to come to a resolution. I decided to drive home from work and talk with Erica. When I showed up, Leah's car was parked in the drive. I went inside and they were watching TV. I told Leah to immediately get out. She tried to argue, but I told her that if she didn't, I'm calling the police. Erica tried to get pissy that I kicked her friend out, but I said that I'm done talking about Leah because at this point, nothing is changing with that relationship. Sat Erica down and showed her this post. 20 minutes later of reading, I asked her what she thought. She said, those people don't understand our relationship or Leah. I knew then that it was over. I asked her to hold her hand out and I took the ring off. She begged, saying she was sorry and she'll cut Leah off, etc. I told her, I can't even trust her with the garage code. How am I supposed to trust her as my wife? She locked herself in our room now and I'm in the kitchen packing up her things. I called her dad and mom and told them what happened and they were furious. Leah was apparently banned from their house and has been since high school. I didn't know this, but her parents said it's been like this since high school. They're coming over this weekend to get Erica and her stuff. I couldn't be happier than I am right now. A huge weight feels like it lifted off my shoulders. I felt like if I never made this post, I would have never seen how messed up my life had become. Sincerely, thank you everyone. Can't wait to take the clubs out and play around now that I have more free time. Really excited to see what life brings, and I can't thank you all enough. Thank you again. Okay, so obviously Leah is an entitled blood-sucking parasite in this situation who's taking advantage of Erica. So I don't think the guy is the asshole here, but I would have at least tried a little harder to make it work with Erica. Or at least try to make her understand that that relationship she has with Leah isn't a healthy relationship. Like when I was in high school, I used to have this friend who would always ask me to borrow shit. Like he was the most unprepared person you could ever possibly meet. Like literally chat, I would lend this guy paper, pencils, notebooks, sharpeners. I was basically an office depot for this fucking guy. And one day I just got sick of it. I just cut him off because it just got so freaking annoying. Like every freaking time I would meet this guy, he would always ask me for shit. This is kind of similar to this situation, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyways, next story. Am I the asshole for embarrassing the lunch thief at work? So I started a new job recently and I work in a small studio. There are several others in the building. Think open plan office with sections assigned to each studio. The person I had an altercation with doesn't work in the studio, just an FYI. I eat lunch at 1ish and most people eat lunch at 12. I came down early to eat lunch at 12. I made coffee and while at the counter I noticed my Tupperware in the sink, empty. Imagine my surprise when I turned around and I saw a man I didn't know sitting down at the table with my food on his plate. He just stuck it in the microwave. Acting rashly since I was mad, I sat down next to him and I said, hey, that looks good. Mind if I try it? Then, before waiting for an answer, I yanked the plate away from him and snatched the fork out of his hand. He just blinked in shock, as did the other people there as I started eating. He then, quite loudly, asked what I thought I was doing. I replied, huh, you know this is actually much better when I first cooked it. It probably lost some flavor in the fridge. He then caught on quickly that it was my food and went a little red. I then asked him where he got the gall to steal someone else's lunch and then asked them what they're doing when they take it back. He then stuttered out some nonsense about not knowing it was mine and I replied well you knew it wasn't yours right? He just mumbled something like an apology and I said no problem it was nice that he warmed it up for me at least in an admittedly bitchy tone and the people there just stared in silence. Two of the silent watchers maybe as mates I don't know told me that I was rude to him and that there had been nicer ways to go about it. I told them to think about how they'd feel if someone ate their food before saying they should focus on their lunch and I'll focus on mine. Well, it's been a little awkward at lunch and I have the impression that a few people are talking shit about me now at work. Maybe I could have been nicer, sure. I still don't think I was wrong. But tell me, Reddit, am I the asshole? I personally never had anything like this happen to me at work, but if something like this ever did happen to me, then I would kind of respond in a similar fashion. Like, if you know the lunch isn't yours, then why the fuck would you eat it? It's just disrespectful. And then the best friends are like sticking up for this guy? Like, shut the fuck up and eat your lunch. So no, I don't believe this guy is the asshole in this situation. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and sub to the channel if you're new. And let me know if you want more videos like this in the future.